Okay, good morning, Intrepid Readers. I didn't do a blog last weekend, so my conundrum was entitled The Mystery of How the Hell Do I Get Caught Up with All My Work? Because I'm super behind right now, and I'm trying to keep up with my weekly blog and then my video of my weekly blog. And so that since I don't have a weekly blog that last week, then there was none. There's nothing to talk about as far as that. So I'm just going to talk for a minute since I'm in this, see I'm in, I'm not set up with my bathroom door closed, the boys bath, and ugh, uh, ugh. Plus it's St. Patrick's Day week. Look at my cool clover. And it's fun run and there's baseball going on and it is bonkers. It's just bonkers here. I'm not sure what to do to organize my life. So I'll just tell you a story about my oldest son's baseball game, which was on Monday night. And he's a major, he's in majors right now, which is almost juniors, it's almost the highest level of the league. And little, little league, it's almost the highest level. It's like the 10 to 12 year olds, basically. And they're getting pretty good at that stage. It kind of looks like an actual, you know, baseball game when you watch it instead of a bunch of really cute little kids running around and trying to go the right direction on the bases. It's not like that anymore. It's like you see plays being made and people paying attention and it's, it looks like a real baseball game. Okay, well, Monday night was no exception to that rule except for the fact that my son's team... Um, the pitcher had a bad start, and the opposing team was up by 10 runs in the middle of the first inning. So bottom of the first inning with my son's team, they then didn't score anything. So first first inning is over, score is 10 to 0, which is, on any Little League team, it's a big, huge deficit. And, it you know, it that's... That's was it was really it was kind of like do we give up now? No, no, we don't. My husband, the coach, is the coach of the team. He said, "Okay, you guys, now at second inning, you guys need to win the game from here." And I don't know what kind of magic they performed, but it took until so okay, second inning, no score for either team. So ten to zero. Third inning, no score for either team. So defensively, they were doing really well. <laughs> but offensively, not so much. Okay, so bottom of the fourth. All right, end of the fourth inning, since these are, these are six-inning games for Little League, they're going to get 10-run ruled out. Game over. Bottom of the fourth. They score a run. A run at the bottom of the fourth inning, making it 10-1. to one. Okay, the next two innings are bananas. That's all I can say about it. Score goes, we, there are three or, four, three or four runs in the fifth inning, and then on top of the sixth, the uh, opposing team scores three more, so it's 13 to like six. Oh, no, I'm, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So it got to the point, so it's 10 to zero, and it seems like the next time I turned around, it was 10 to 11. So we're down by one. I watch all this magic happen. By the end of the sixth inning, we're tied at 13 all. And it's like, holy cow, we could actually still win this. And we they had to go into extra innings. And did they win? No, no, they didn't. Um, they lost 18 to 13. But it was just my husband, who is usually not, he's usually kind of crabby after a loss, for quite some time, he was like over the moon, excited with how amazing of a comeback and how much spirit and how much oomph they they displayed to uh, to get that kind of a score by the end of the game. So it was a lot of fun, and I guess that's part of the mystery is that it's a Monday game, then they have a Saturday game. Another team of my youngest sons has a Wednesday game. It's like sort of shocking to me that I get anything done between February and May, but I'm working on it. 
So this video is going to have to suffice for the blog um, that I am trying my darndest to write this upcoming weekend. For St. Patrick's Day, happy St. Patrick's Day! Yay! And until that time, I would love to hear your opinions about, you know, sports, I guess. Little boys and sports and amazing comebacks or whatever you want to talk about. So until then, and until I get my stuff together, see, look, what's this on my hair? I've got something in my hair. Jeez Louise. A mess. Anyway, stay mystified. Have a good one.